Hi there and welcome to my Ivan's vlog, everything about balls. In this episode I'm going to talk about which materials are being used for making a volleyball. I'm also going to explain a little bit about which materials were used in the earlier years of our beautiful sport. So let's get into it. This is already the 10th episode of my vlog, so I wanted to do something special. Most people know that I'm really into volleyball because I'm a volleyball player myself and learned to play volleyball with the old leather balls. We all still remember these balls really well, I think, because in the beginning of the season, when these balls were still beautifully white, we knew that it was not going to take long before these balls were getting more and more grey because of sweat and of course also touching the floor and so on. At the end of the season the balls became more and more black and also the texture of the ball changed a lot. A volleyball is made with two or sometimes three different layers. First of all we have the bladder. In volleyball we use a synthetic bladder and this has a big advantage because it can retain the air a lot better than a latex bladder. Sometimes there is also a layer between the outer shell and the bladder to cushion the contact with your arms or hand. This material is cotton or something similar, but in volleyball we don't see this too often. The outer cover of the ball used to be real leather like with this Mikasa MV, v, MG VL200 that I have here. And as you can see this ball has some wear and tear on it. And you can also see this with this old molten leather volleyball but this ball is still in a better condition. The newer volleyballs are made from synthetic material and called composite leather. The advantage here is that the cover stock stays in better condition than the old leather balls. You can also play a lot more seasons with these balls and still keep the same feel. It is also easier to clean the ball as well. I have here two recent Mikasa balls. And first of all the Mikasa MVA200 that has been used for a lot of years. And next season we're also gonna see a different ball in a lot of competitions, namely this Mikasa V200W. These newer balls are more scuff resistant than the old leather balls. But because of this, balls tend to be a little bit more slippery than the old leather balls. The feel of these newer balls is also better than the leather counterparts. And when you take reception, it is definitely a lot better for your arms. And certainly now, because of all these jump surfs that reach more than 120 km per hour. In one of the following episodes I will explain a lot more about the history of volleyball and also with other brands of balls as well. But first I need to clean up my room a little bit because all these balls that I have in my collection take a little bit too much space I'm afraid. I also want to thank you for watching this episode and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to know more about balls. Also hit the bell icon if you want to receive notifications. Also leave a comment down below and I will respond as fast as possible. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!